What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more of the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the uh, last part, we in the last part we uh did a couple of side quests that were uh, not necessary for the main game, but we did have an important plot point. We learned the Song of Storms. In this part, we're going to uh we are basically going to uh what am I trying to say? We're basically uh going to uh help remind. Now, one thing I would strongly recommend is uh having as many arrows as possible. I would definitely recommend getting both quivers before going here. And uh, I would recommend having the bunny hood on. Now, uh, Romani is not going to come out until like, uh, we're gonna play the inverted song of time. We're gonna play the inverted song of time and basically what, what, the, what we're going to do is, um, we're gonna wait until 2 a.m. and that is when Romani is going to come out and uh, basically, cause like this ranch is closed at night, so basically, what what this is basically what we're basically saying is we have to basically wait for Romani to show up and then I'm gonna play back the inverted song of time so we can make this a bajillion times easier. So I'll see you guys in a second. Anyway, so Romani came out, so we're gonna play back the inverted song of time because. Let's just say if you, playing the inverse song time makes this a bajillion times easier. Anyway, so we're gonna talk to Romani. Oh, it's almost time. You take care of things outside, Grasshopper. If you have a map, watch your map carefully. Oh, okay, whatever happens, do not let them get into the barn. So come from behind their barn, so just watch out. If you run out of arrows, we have crates of them near the house, so stock up if you need to. So yeah, come here with 50 arrows, and on top of that, they'll be back up. So basically, um, and I would also recommend having the bunny hood on. So, uh, if the aliens reach the barn, you fail this side quest, and you have to do it, you basically have to reset time if you want to do the side quest again. But this isn't too hard if you come very prepared. 2.30, the, uh, aliens are going to attack. I should have uh, played the inverse song time when they showed up, but like I wasn't clearly thinking straight. And I've played this game dozens of times. I don't think I've ever once failed this side quest. It's easy if you know what you're doing. This, and we have to go, and um, I don't want to spoil anything yet, but uh, yeah, these are the aliens. Basically, uh, they give you definitely a signal to shoot them, and uh, be cautious because uh, there will also be one hiding behind the barn. And that one will, this one right here will basically try to sneak in and try to do his dirty tricks. But yeah, use the bunny hood for maneuvering, and on top of that, use the arrows for uh, for tar for basically killing the getting, t fending off the alien. So uh. I will say the closer they are, the easier it gets. I would say the main three you want to focus on is the one in, is the one on the left and the one in the back. Like, am I shoot? Am I gonna shoot this guy? Yeah. Anyway, so we're gonna shoot these uh, ones that are getting closer. Okay, we're gonna shoot this one that's starting to get close. All the lack of commentary, I'm really trying to focus because I want to avoid resetting time at all costs. Even though I've done this dozens of times, it's just like, you want to play it safe in this portion. But yeah, this isn't too bad. At 5.30, they are going to, uh, 
If 5.30, they will be fended up. If 5.30, they will, they will admit defeat. So, uh, if you can hold them back long enough, this isn't too bad. And the dog will also help, will also guide you and, uh, to where the aliens are, like that one in the back. That one in the back, I would mainly, is the one I would mainly be concerned for. Anyway, so that one in the back is starting to get closer. We actually already are starting to run out of arrows. I don't like how close some of these are getting. This is getting it can definitely be nerve-wracking the closer they get. Nice shot right there. Yeah, this one's going to be a little bit closer. We only have an hour left. Now I'm going to get more arrows to be on the safe side. Yeah, see how easier this is with time slowed down. Doesn't make for exciting commentary when you're trying to focus on avoiding having to reset time. There's so one more hour left to go. Expect to run out of arrows at least once. There are multiple crates full of them if you do. Yeah, notice how it's starting to get lighter out. So half an hour, almost a little over a half an hour left. We should be able to do this without running out of arrows. But you could be completely fucked if you run out of arrows. We only have a little less than half an hour left. This one's starting to get a little too close to a point I don't like. We have 17 arrows left, thankfully. We just, we're, at, we're in the ninth inning, so, uh... And they are disappeared. Yeah, we have successfully fended off the aliens. We did it! We won! Thank you. Thanks to you. The cows are giving thanks, too. Here's your money, thanks. When you drink it, put your hands in the hip and take a big gulp like we do here at the ranch. And this also gives me a healing opportunity for we get a milk bottle. Anyway, so I'm gonna cut off this part of Majora's Mask. So, uh, next time on Majora's Mask... 
We're gonna tackle the pirate. We're gonna tackle the remainder of pirate fortress. So I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks. Bye. <laughs>